All right, so um, I know the font isn't the normal font that I'm doing, but that I usually do. But um, I only have like a couple minutes to film this because I have to turn my phone in. So this is probably gonna be like hella short, um, and probably is gonna suck a lot. Um, also, my font isn't the same because Kafka is deciding to be a little bitch. So yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna quit talking so we can get onto the video, and if it doesn't come out when I want it to come out, I'm sorry. Anyways, let's get into it. Alright, so a little background into the story. Um, so, this is gonna be, like, older Sal, so when he has, like, his hair down and everything and he's a little taller. Um, but we're gonna say that, like, when he does the killings, but instead of, like, staying in the right mindset, because, you know, how, like, he does the killings and, like, he's fully aware of what he's doing. Um, after he kills Mrs. Gibson, which is his first kill, uh, he goes crazy. And you find him, uh, in his dad's apartment, because I believe that's the last person he kills. And, uh, you just see him there, uh, standing. So, yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna voice you guys for the first part, just to, you know, get it started. So, yeah, let's get into it. Sal, I came as quickly as possible. What are you- Sal. Sal. S Sal, we need to get out of here. Come on. What are you doing in here? Sal? Sally face, you better be fucking joking right now. No, no, you're not. Fuck. Shit. So at that point, Sal was turned around and you saw that he was covered in blood um, and he had a knife in his hand. And you could see, like, through his mask that his eyes were, like, wide. Like, really wide. So at this point, you, like, you're, like, backing up towards the door. And then when you get there, you open the door and then you basically run out. And you're grabbing your phone and you call Ashley. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I have to get out of here. <laughs> Come on, Ashley. Pick up Ash. Come on. Hello? Ash, please. You need to call the cops now. Listeners, everything all right? Just call the cops, please. I'm currently running. From, from who? Are, are you okay? You sound panicked. Sal's gone crazy, please. Okay, I'll call the cops and I'll be right down there. So, you're running and, um, you trip over something and you look down and, well, say your parents lived in the apartments. And, uh, you saw your mom. And, uh, dead. You had tripped over your mom. And you sat there, and, like, you were stunned. Like, you couldn't get up. And Sal knew that, like, your mom was super close to you and everything. And, um, you looked over to see the elevator had opened. And you saw Sal there, and he still had the knife. Um, the blood that was on it had um, been dried, and you were just sitting there looking at him. He dropped the knife, and he ran up to you. He took his mask off as he was running, and grabbed you. Listener, what the hell are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. What do you mean I've gone fucking crazy? I haven't gone crazy. I had no choice. Listener, you're not hearing me. I had no choice. I'm not crazy. You can't- Did you call someone? Fuck, listener. Listener. Listener, let me talk. Listener. So, uh, you kept yelling at him, telling him to get off of you, and that he's crazy, and that, uh, he deserves to die, and everything like that. So, he takes his hands, and starts to strangle you. Until you stop moving. 
and when he realized what he did, he let your uh, limp body out of his hands, uh, fell back on his knees, like, so he was, like, we're gonna say he was, like, knelt down, and he just fell back on his knees, and he kind of just stared at you for a bit, and he's like, what the fuck have I done No, and he just stayed there, and, um, cops finally arrived after about five minutes and he was still there and the cops came in and arrested him and when one of the cops came over and saw that you were still alive you had just passed out from not enough oxygen you were rushed to the hospital all right and i'm gonna end it here um so this uh, this is not gonna come out uh, the day that I made it. I'm so sorry. Uh, because I did leave you guys off on a cliffhanger. I will be giving you guys a part two to this one. And, yeah. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, but yeah. I gotta go, cause I gotta turn my phone in now. So, I'm still grounded. Yay. Um, but hopefully I will be getting my phone when I go to my dad's. So you will definitely get a, be getting more uploads from me. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your morning, day, or night. Bye bye